Hello guys, my name is Gloria Belizma IGF. Munifate pale IG and don't forget to subscribe to the Gatekeepers channel. Channel ya watu wazi, the OG gang, eh? Umolo gang. Thank you. Keepers, the Premier League is back. I'll pardon my manners. I'm um, Emily Evan. Dennis Ketong. Uh, March week 11. Uh, we just came back from, uh, of course, we did the Champions League. You can check on our previous videos. And um, the Europa League, the League of the Small Boys. We saw Arsenal won by a goal. Manchester United won by a goal. So, March week 11, Brentford against Brighton tonight. Tonight. On Friday. If it's Friday, you know it is, right? Actually, this time round, I don't know why they are... Okay, they've started on a Friday. So, the fun starts tonight. So, so Brentford against Brighton. So, yes. by the way, the reason as to why this match is on a Friday, it's crazy. We are into that part of the month whereby it's going to be very busy. We are going to have a lot of crazy fixture, fixtures. So, this is the month whereby we will be having games which will be played from Wednesday, Thursday such th such kind of games because Definitely. it's so crowded up huh? but let's go to it game week 11 as Poba just mentioned so straight to it Brentford are going to face uh, Brighton Brent uh, Brentford of late I don't know what has been happening they have been uh, doing poorly uh, last weekend in game week 10 they lost miserably to Newcastle to the inform Newcastle uh, they lost by five goals to one uh, Ivan Tony scored uh, the solitary goal which was a penalty and uh, I feel like Brentford need to up their socks. Thomas Frank, you need to tell your boys to that we need to see them back in this thing. And of course, Brighton. Brighton are continuing to impress. They are continuing to perform well. Regardless of them losing in match week 10 against Tottenham by a solitary goal which was scored by Harry Kane, mm -hmm. uh, they actually showcased a brilliant and a perfect game which they played. They were just unlucky to lose that much but having said that i feel like it's going to be a great 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 game mm -hmm. game week so um let's see how it happens but if you ask me i feel like even tony of course you can't stop that guy from scoring but the diversity of Bri uh, brighton people like macalista people like trossard people like uh, gross pascal gross uh, they are so impressive so in this match without even a doubt allow me to just give it to uh, Brighton to pick it up where they left. So 3-1 should be the score tonight. I would love uh, Brentford to at least win, but it's not about loving. It's about putting the hard work. It's about who is on form right now and who is joking. So with me, straight up, I'll just go with Brighton. Uh, Leandro, Leandro, that man is very much on form alongside Welbeck. So. I'm giving them straight win. Although Brentford, please try and do something. Try and do something. Others three nil to Brighton. Leicester against Crystal Palace. Leicester were thrashed by Bournemouth two goals to one last time. <laughs> Crystal Palace. So Leicester against Crystal Palace. So this is uh, the Saturday match. Early kickoff. Leicester coming to face Crystal Palace, a team that is playing very well. Uh, there's a player called Eze. Eze has actually picked his form. We saw also Eduardo scored in the in the last match. Uh, Guehi, very impressive. So Zaha also doing his things with the assist. So I feel like Crystal Palace is a team to watch out for. Uh, they are playing well. They are well coordinated. Their coach, Pat Vieira, has a belief in his boys. So coming to Leicester, Leicester pulled a surprise. Should, let me just call it a surprise win. Yeah, that time when they won four, four was it four one? Four nil. Or four nil. Mm -hmm. We thought that they're back, but I don't know what's happening. So you guys, you better also up your socks. Now that they'll be at uh, King Power Stadium, welcoming Crystal Palace, I feel like it's going to be a different ball game here. If they don't bring something different on the table, I am afraid they might drop points. Mm -hmm. So having said that, I feel like this is a game whereby I'm seeing a two-two draw. To, to draw. Yeah. Well, I thought the same. I Leicester, Leicester will be at home, but they are not on form. So, of course, in front of the home fans, they'll give out their best. But Crystal Palace is not a team to despise. So, two to draw for me. Fulham against South uh, against Bournemouth. Bournemouth. 
<laughs> they won <laughs> against Leicester last time. So I, I hope they continue that form now that they'll be away at Fulham. Well, actually, for me, I feel like um, another looming draw. This one, I'm going to give it a 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, eh? Yeah. Uh, huh. Bournemouth, they actually pulled a very spirited fight against uh, Leicester mm-hmm. and uh, definitely they won. Uh, Solanke and Cod did whatever they had to do and I feel like uh, if they come back to this game with the same same spirit, they're going to cause a lot of troubles uh, in this. Remember, this is, uh, this is a derby again. So the new boys up from... They are the newly promoted boys. They are here. They are no longer new. They are in match week 10. So it is what it is. So I feel like Mitrovic, um, man, I don't know. But this game is a game whereby I think for some reasons I want to bet on uh, Bonamot to actually build up on where they left. So 2 1 again, Bonamot. Wolves, who are thrashed 3 0 by Chelsea mm-hmm. against Nottingham. Forest. Now I'm expecting you to at least uh, they'll be small mm-hmm. I'm expecting them to at least bounce back, prove it, start picking up form. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting them to do something. Now that they fight their coach, they are supposed to come back more stronger. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they will. I feel like they'll they'll win, but uh, please will put hard work in, mm-hmm. pull up your socks. So I'll give I'll give actually a selection to Woods two one. Two one. Mm. So guys, before I continue, allow us to apologize. You can hear some unnecessary noise at the background. Uh, some activities are happening at the back uh, of our studio, but it is what it is. Just mm. bear with the with the sound. Definitely. Yes. So um, as Woods are playing against uh, Nottingham Forest, Diego Costa is back. Uh, the former Chelsea boys is here. And uh, basically, they gave a good fight when they, uh, when they were playing against Chelsea, only that uh, some mistakes here and there, then uh, they got a red card in that game, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, having said that, Nottingham Forest, they are behaving badly, they are losing, they are, they are in a losing streak, they are not in form. Now going to meet a team like Wolves at Molyneux, I feel like uh, Molyneux will be happy on Saturday. Wolves will actually be reclaiming back some points. So give it three points to Wolves and give it a two nil win. It's going to be a clean sheet. Clean sheet. For Jose Sa. Uh-huh. Tottenham against Everton. It will be the closing match on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Now this one is big. It's big. Tottenham won by a solitary goal. Against Brighton. Against huh? Brighton. Mm-hmm. Everton, on the other hand, they these people are bad. They gave a spirited fight to Manchester United. It was it could have been an easy two two draw. Mm-hmm. But okay. this one is big. It is it is big it is big guys. Uh, remember Tottenham are coming from winning from Brentford. Also they performed well in the Champions League. Son scored a brace, brilliant volley if you saw that goal. So I feel like. Uh, Harry Kane scored a goal, missed a penalty, not his usual thing, but it is what it is. So uh, Tottenham and Antonio Conte, they seem to be so psyched up right now. They feel like it's time to actually work on their comeback. So I feel like they're going to build up on that. And I feel like Tottenham have a lot to, to gain from this. Because remember, uh, the race for the top, for, for top three is now super tight. So they're also trying to defend to defend that that gap. So if they lose, it will be bad for them. Special mention to Everton. Everton is a very impressive team. Uh, before losing to Manchester United, they had gone for a streak of like six, six games without losing, which involved some draws here and there. But generally, as a team, they seem to have gelled. They seem to have actually found their their their, their power to to do whatever they wanna do. And uh, I feel like Everton are here to terrorize and to actually disturb many teams. But as they face Tottenham, I feel like Tottenham, they are unwavered. They might not be play, playing brilliant football, but they are getting brilliant results. So I'm sticking with good results for Tottenham. So give it up. 2-1. Uh, two, 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 uh, Tottenham two, one. to win 2-1, uh, yes. Well, Everton, um, I saw them. I met them face to face. Those people are not good. Onana was fantastic. Iwobi, 
Man, I'm telling you, this one, if Tottenham don't watch out this time, Tottenham will be beaten. Mm, I can tell sure. you for free. That's for sure. Well, um, without, without, um, I think I will, this one is going to be a draw, actually. Mm -hmm. We might as well go for a 3-3 three, three draw. 3-3? Three, three. Yeah. Mm, are you trying to give them a result the same way Bayern Munich, uh, not Bayern, Barcelona bungled their lead to Inter Milan, to AC Milan, uh, it was? It uh, was, um, they were playing okay. against um, Champions League, a uh, big, big, big match Inter Milan. Against Inter. Yeah, because I remember the Z the Jacob miss. Yeah, so, yeah, and Lautaro Martinez scored in that game. It's a long streak of not. I think that's the game we're going to witness. Uh, then, of course, Lewandowski scored a brace. Huh? Of course, Mr. So Lewandowski. now that we are there, basically it means that uh, for whatever reason, uh, Barcelona needs to win the remaining games, or at least one of the games, if they really want to qualify in the round of 16. We are waiting for in the Europa League. But remember, this Saturday, El Clasico. Well, you know what? We'll talk to you about Before it in a finish, few. You know, um, <laughs> Barcelona, they are depending, in the same, same group, yes. they are depending on a certain team. Yes. When that team wins, yes. back to Europe. Pilezen? I think so. My friend, that can't happen. But it is all it is, guys. See you in the next episode. Uh, we are going to handle Sunday matches still in the game in game week eleven, right? Mm -hmm. So until then, guys, remember to always subscribe, share, comment, tell us your views, what you want us to improve, or what you want us to incorporate in our videos.